Hello everyone, it's Bart here from Trio Stories. I've got a sizzling new video for you today where we'll be looking at an alternative photo editing software. When you think of photo editing, you automatically go to Lightroom or Photoshop. But today, I'm going to introduce you to a software you've possibly never heard of, Luminar 4. This software has a particular set of skills that make it an absolute beast when it comes to landscape editing. I'm going to show you how you can take a photo that looks like this and make it look like this. I've prepared a few photos for you today to have a look at its capabilities and we're going to start it off with this shot that was shot on the Mavic Air in the Arctic Circle in Finland. Now I like this shot, I think it's got a lot of potential Obviously the kind of snow covered buildings and trees are looking really, really amazing. But as it stands, it's not really going to turn any heads. There is a distinct lack of interest in the sky and the colors, they're not really popping. The number one feature of Luminar for me is the sky replacement capabilities. It is an absolute game changer. With one click, you can get a fairly good idea of what that sky could look like. So you can use this slider to move it up and down. Oh yeah, I'm liking the look of this. Now that's, that's looking quite cool. And to be honest, without even any further adjustments, that's actually looking pretty good. And straight away you can see that the kind of blending is not bad. And because the vanishing point is so far away because the drone photo, you could probably get away with it at this point. But um, even further, you can actually adjust the horizon blending. I need to address this issue here where I think the artificial intelligence hasn't kind of picked up that this is still part of the sky. So you can actually adjust the mask manually. There you go, to manually push more of that sky into these gray areas, shall we say. Replacing the sky is one thing, but the second and possibly the hardest job is to actually make the scene match your replaced sky. Luminar have this magic slider called Relight Scene, which literally works magic on, on your scene and starts bringing in the tones from the sky onto your foreground. This is absolutely incredible. The artificial intelligence in Luminar has helped us to find that horizon, blend the sky with the landscape, making it look like a cohesive scene. The sky replacement is starting to already make this photo look a lot more punchy and it's adding this dramatic feel to it but I think there's still a lot more that we can squeeze out of it. So I'm going to take manual control of a little bit of this editing process, finish up this photograph and show you the final result in just a second. The second photograph I want to show you is also a drone shot, which is taken in the exact same spot, but just rotated 180 degrees. The situation here is a little bit different because the sky is actually really beautiful. I'm really keen to show you what Luminar can do in bringing out the most out of the sky without actually replacing it. So I'm going to start with just showing you what you can do with one slider here and that's the AI Enhance. The AI Accent will bring in contrast, clarity and sort of colour corrections into the whole image and the AI Sky Enhancer is basically the AI accent tool, but with an automatic mask on the sky. So we can see here straight away, it's really bringing out the shapes of the clouds and starting to bring out the colors as well that we want. Now, the second thing that I absolutely love is this landscape enhancer tab. Here we've got a really well-known uh, function from Lightroom called Dehaze, which works beautifully to saturate those colors and bring in clarity at the same time without over sharpening the image too much. We can then use the golden hour slider to enhance those warm tones that you get during golden hour at, or at sunset. And this is also a clever and assisted tool because it is able to select those tones and selectively saturate them as well as gently change the hue towards those warmer orange and reddish tones. So straight away, I mean, these peach pink colors that are coming in over this hill are looking incredible. This is not the same as changing the temperature of the image. I do actually want to tone down the blue, but we probably want to just use the hue saturation sliders a little bit to, to tone that down. 
I think about there is good. So again, if we compare this to the original image, just using three tabs, the AI Enhance, the Landscape Enhancer, and the Color, we've been able to take this landscape up to the next level. Luminar also has some quite clever selective tools, and I would like to remove some distractions from this image. So there are some black patches here and here that I can remove with literally the click of one button using the Erase tool. And as you can see, the Golden Hour Enhancement tool has really pushed the reds in these, I think they're neon signs. So again, I'm just going to select them and I'm going to click the Erase button and just like that, our landscape is distraction free. So with the second photo, I wanted to talk to you about another one of my favorite features, and that's the smart contrast slider. Luminar thought, you know, contrast is so 2012. So we're going to make it smart. Think of it a little bit like using the curves to create an S curve, but the positioning of where that, that S curves being taken care of by artificial intelligence. So basically it varies the amount of contrast that it's adding through the different tonal range. So this really helps to, to kind of bring out the most out of the landscape. Okay, I'm just gonna finish up this photo like I did with the last one and show you my final result. There's nothing groundbreaking here in this edit and all of these adjustments could have definitely been done in Lightroom. But the difference is Luminar has a lot more assisted functionality. So there are a lot of different options and features which have this artificial intelligence assist. One slider may do the job of three or four sliders in Lightroom. Now the disadvantage of that is you have kind of less control, but a huge advantage is it's a lot faster and it's a lot more intuitive. When it comes to landscapes, especially, I found that the tools, the range of tools available in Luminar have been extremely helpful. Now the final photograph I'm going to use to show you what Luminar can do is actually from a very different part of the world, San Francisco, California. We've paired up with Alexander Hadig, a very talented photographer from San Fran who is no stranger to the Instagram banger. He has sent across this amazing shot of the Bay Bridge, I believe. Drove across there last summer. I'm going to give it the Luminar treatment. First things first, I absolutely love this photograph. However, in theory at least, this photograph should prove a lot more difficult. We've got a skyline here, and we've got all of these cutouts in the bridge, which could prove challenging for Luminar AI. But let's have a look how it does. Just like that with one click, we have got a pretty good job. Yeah, I mean, I would challenge anyone to do better than that in Photoshop in having two, three hours, never mind, you know, literally one click. So I think that it's eating a little bit into these buildings. So I am going to just pull back the global slider a little bit, improve the blending. It's looking pretty good, I think. Okay, so the sky's in. I'm going to have to make sure that the foreground, the actual landscape here, the bridge, the city, match the, the colors of the sky. And I'm going to just relight the scene. So we're gonna need a little bit more saturation, uh, a little bit more on the oranges, a little bit more on the reds. And I'm going to use that landscape enhancer again for that golden hour look. Okay, let's not go, let's not overcook it. Now that smart contrast should bring in some, yeah. and then add a little bit more of a HDR look because we're starting to lose a little bit of detail in the foreground. Now I'm going to also use the AI Enhance AI Accent to bring in the clarity and structure here in the foreground. Enhance the sky a little bit more. Bump up the details and do a little bit of selective color because these greens, are they, they're too saturated and I think they're quite distracting actually. So I'm just going to desaturate them Change the hue a little bit. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good, but I want to go for a little bit more of a stylized look with this one. And normally in Lightroom, I would be heading to my presets. They work a little bit differently in Luminar. First of all, they're called LUTs. And I find that the LUTs 
help to bring together the sky and the foreground even more. Now, the one thing I absolutely love about Luminar in comparison to Lightroom is the fact that you can change the amount or intensity of the preset without the need for any ridiculous external plugins or, or you know, going through every setting manually like you, do, like you do in Lightroom. So I only want a little bit here of this Long Beach look just to unify that color palette a little bit and you can just add a little bit of stylization with a, with a lot. So I've been testing out Luminar for a couple of weeks now and um, I've absolutely loved it. I think a bit of a side effect or uh, an aspect that many people may not think of is these softwares, they are tools to a photographer and sometimes a new tool, a new work environment can actually spark creativity and be the catalyst for some new ideas. Maybe you can go back and re-edit some of your old photos with a different vibe. In many ways, having a new tool is a spark, a creative spark, and it can really be a catalyst to enable you to create something new and something different. So it's worth every once in a while just trying something new and seeing if it changes your workflow or just gives you a fresh set of ideas. I may not necessarily be switching from Lightroom to Luminar full time, but I will definitely have both of these now in my toolbox and use them accordingly for different projects. So to summarize, Luminar's good, big fan, very intuitive. I love the assisted function. The artificial intelligence is far more advanced, I think, than, than I even anticipated. It has got some amazing functionality for landscape photographers. So yeah, I would recommend it. Try it out for yourself. See you in the next one. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a like. I would really appreciate that. I'd love to hear in the comments what you thought of Luminar, what you thought of my edits, and how your day's going as well. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you'd love to see more content, and um, I will see you in the next one. Bye.